Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what exactly is factoring? And what I want to explain for you this is, you know, how we're gonna factor not only just like numbers, but also when we get into like polynomials, how do we factor um, a, a, in an expression if it's a variable or a numeric expression? So let's kind of start off with, you know, numbers. And um, we'll start with the prime number. And the reason why we say it's a prime number is because the only two factors are itself and one. And so when we're talking about factors, what we're talking about is two numbers that multiply to give you uh, your term or your expression. So this is, you know, so anytime when we're talking about prime numbers, that means the only factors are the number itself and one. But now let's go and look at a non-prime factor. Let's look at, uh, uh, let's look at six, all right? So six in this case has obviously six and one. Those are always going to be the factors. But this isn't prime because another, fa another two set of factors are three and two. And again, those are factors because you can rewrite them as three times two um, is the same as six. So whenever we're looking into factoring, basically what we're looking into doing is rewriting a number as a product of its factors. So if I say factor the number six, I'm pretty much saying I want you to rewrite, I want you to rewrite this as a product of its factors. So you could say three times two. You could also factor, factor six and say, well, that's the same thing as six times one, right? Um, so that's basically is what we're dealing with factors. Now, when we get into uh, exponents, let's look at like x squared, right? So now I could say, all right, what two numbers can multiply to give me x squared? Well, I could factor out in this case, or I could say x times x, right? So when we're looking into factoring a variable expression, what we're looking into you know, is what two numbers multiply to give you x times x, where I could say like x to the sixth, now remember, when we multiply um, variables, we add the exponents, right? So this could be um, x to the fifth times x to the first. It would be x to the fourth times x squared. It'd be x to the three times x to two. Oops, x to the three and three, right? <laughs> Oops. Um, remember, you got to add the exponents when you multiply them. So that's another different way I could factor x to the sixth. Is I could rewrite them all as all those products. So. When looking into factoring, again, what we're basically doing is looking into rewriting it as a product of its factors. So there's a lot of different factors, and I'm just going to go through two more steps. Um, the first of all, so these are all when we have like a term, right, a monomial. But what about when we have binomial or any kind of polynomial? So for instance, if I have 3x squared plus 15x to the fourth y, okay? So in this case, um, basically what we're doing is we want to see, we want to factor this. We want to rewrite this as a product, as a multiplication problem. One, you know, an, an expression times another expression. So to do that, um, a lot of times what the important thing to do is to factor each one of these expressions separately. So I could say that's 3 times x times x plus 15. I can factor 15 as 3 times 5 times x to the fourth is really x times x times x times x times y. Okay, so now when I'm looking, and again, when we're looking into factoring, again, we want to rewrite this as a product. So what we do is I can factor out, which is pretty much means like divide out the common terms. And you can see common terms would be x and x, and here an x and x. But here, this expression only has x times x. This one has two sets of x times x, but it's only what they have in common. I can also show, they all show both of these um, expre terms express a three. So I can factor out a three, and an x times x is x squared. And when I do that, what I'm going to be left with is a one. So if I divide out a three x squared, I'm left with a one plus five x squared y. And now you can see this expression is written as a product. It's written as a monomial times a binomial. So I factored each of my terms um, separately, and then I divided out what they had in common. Because, and so by dividing them out, I rewrote it as a, as a multiplication problem, which again is a product of its factors. Um, the last thing, I'm just going to go over something real quick, x squared plus you know, 4x plus 4. Um, so in this case, you see that none of the terms have the same common you know, elements, right? So when you're looking into factoring, obviously we go, there's a whole special, specialized way that we like to factor trinomials. 
But the basic understanding I want you to under, the thing that I want you to take from this is again, when I ask you to factor it, I want you to write it as a product of your factors. Obviously, see if you can factor out the greatest common factor. See if there's anything they all share. But they don't all share a variable x, and they don't all share a uh, number four, so you can't do that. So we will want to factor out as factors, which in this case would be x plus 2 times x plus 2, which I could rewrite as x plus 2 squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is kind of like your basic idea of what exactly is factoring. Thanks.